All right, so let's now do capacity estimation for WhatsApp or an app similar to WhatsApp. So in a system design interview, you'll be asked to design an app that is similar to WhatsApp, uh, but that doesn't mean that you're asked to design WhatsApp as it is today. What they're really asking is, if you were to design a messaging app, how would you do it? So while doing capacity estimations in general, we recommend that you spend as less time as possible during the interview because it doesn't add too much to the interview. It ends up being an isolated math problem and really distracts you from the core point of the interview which is designing a system and there's more details about that in the video that we've linked below so generally for capacity estimations here's a good way to start you can start off by estimating the requests per second which is really a product of the number of users and the amount of usage that the users have now once you've calculated this you can calculate two things pretty easily the first is the storage required and the second is the bandwidth that's needed right and usually the interviewer won't expect you to calculate more than than these three metrics, right? Calculating too much stuff is just beyond the point of a system design interview. Okay, so let's get started then. Now keep in mind that these will also vary by the system, right? So not every system might be relevant for this. So let's get started with WhatsApp. So following our three-step process for capacity estimation, first you figure out which metric you need to calculate, right? In our case, we first start off with the requests per second. And typically in something like WhatsApp or in most user-facing applications, uh, you want to figure out two kinds of requests requests, read requests and write requests. Now it also depends on the interviewer. Uh, if the system is read heavy, for example, something like YouTube, then you might just be able to do the read request first and then ask the interviewer if they also want you to calculate the write request. And a lot of times the interviewer might say, no, it's okay. I know that you know how to do it. Let's not spend more time on this. Okay, so try to minimize this capacity estimation as much as possible during the interview by talking to the interviewer about it. Okay, so we've decided the metric. Okay, so now let's figure out what assumptions we need. A good assumption to start off with is the number of users right so i like to usually start off with 1 million users it's not a small number by any means it's also not super large to make our calculations too complicated so the second assumption we need for requests per second is the activity of each user or the usage of each user uh, so let's say that we separate out reads and writes so let's say that a user receives let's say 72 messages per day and you'll notice i picked 72 for a reason that we'll go over later and let's say the user sends 36 messages per day. So here we picked a receive to send ratio of two, which means on average, each message goes out to two users because WhatsApp can have group chats. Okay, now this ratio could be very different depending on your service. Okay, so keeping this in mind, we can figure out how many reads and writes we have. So a receive is a read from the database perspective. So we can figure out using these two, how many reads we get. And this is where we start our calculation, right? So 72 messages per day times 1 million users, 72 million read requests per day. Now we typically want to calculate requests per second. So per second would just be 72 million divided by 24 hours a day and 3,600 seconds in an hour. And now you'll notice why this picking 72 was useful because you can divide 72 by 24. But in general, multiples of 12 uh, are pretty useful in these numbers because it makes your calculation easier, okay? And this comes out to be approximately 833 requests per second. Similarly, we can calculate our write requests and the write requests will be you know, 36 million writes per day. And you can see it's gonna be half of what this is, right? So it's gonna be approximately 416 requests per second. So now we've figured out how many reads and writes our system would need to handle per second. Now keep in mind, these numbers that we do at such a high level are really not gonna be super accurate, which is also another reason why I'm not a fan of doing capacity estimation too early on, because you really don't know how your system is handling reads and writes, right? You don't know what the system's doing. For example, let's say that internally, instead of when a user sends a message, instead of just storing it in a database, you're restoring copies of it in every sender's database. So for every write, you have like three different writes to the receiving users. Well, then our writes are not going to be the same as sends, right? In this case, we had assumed that for each write, we'll have that many sends. So this number can be very different depending on the system. Okay, so this is a very high level estimation of how many requests our system can expect to serve. 